So the next graft choice we're gonna talk about is the hamstring tendon autograft. So conversely to the patellar tendon, we don't have those two bony blocks on each side. So as you can see in this image, the tendon itself or the graft itself actually comes from the end of the hamstring or the tendon where it attaches to the bone. So as you can see in that image, we have three distinct hamstring muscles. Surgeons will take from one of those muscles or the tendons from one of those muscles called the semitendinosus. And depending on the surgeon, they will also take from the muscle called the gracilis muscle. The reason for that is the tendons to the semitendinosus and the gracilis actually attach to the tibia at the same point. So once those tendons or that graft is actually taken out of the knee, surgeons will fold that graft over and create a strand. Depending on the surgeon, a two strand or a four strand bundle is what we call it, is the graft that we will actually insert back into the knee. 